Hi everyone, my name is Shoni Gates and welcome to the three money secrets training tonight. So if you're jumping on and watching the live, hi to everyone who's watching currently on the live or on the replay. I want you to take a second to pop into the comment box and introduce yourself. Let me know your name, where you're calling in from and how you found the link to join this webinar because I know some of my friends have been sharing it, other colleagues have been sharing it, it's ended up on some Facebook groups. Otherwise, some of you might have found me through my Instagram where I just essentially say fuck a lot and drink a lot of wine. Um, so let me know where you found it, where you're calling in from. I'd love to see where everyone's joining us from tonight. So the three money secrets that all mums need to know. Tonight we are talking about money mindset, which is really the difference between broke people and poor people. Um, just being really honest with you, it all comes down to your money mindset. We're going to talk about unlocking and rewriting your money story. Plus, we want to actually talk about how to manifest more money. Now, these three secrets that I'm sharing with you, these are the first three things I did when I started to realize that my money mindset was the key between key to getting me from where I was currently at, which was broke ass white girl, to where I wanted to be, which was financially abundant and successful and secure within my family and for my family as well. So that's what we're going to be going over tonight. Um, let me just check the comment box. Oh, everyone's saying hi in there. Let's see where we got people from. We got people from Sydney. We have people from Dallas. We have from boys. I think that's in the States. I think, um, we've got a couple of people from New Zealand. We've got a beautiful girl from Darwin. Hi Georgie. We've got Sarah calling in. We have got Kelly. We've got Laura. We've got Jess. Hi, hi, hi everyone. I will spend all night reading them out. <laughs> so let's get straight into it. So my goal for you at the end of this workshop is I want you to feel empowered. And I want you to feel really excited about money, which chances are, if you've clicked on to, you know, join and participate in money workshop, chances are you're feeling pretty shitty about money at the moment. So I want to help you feel excited about money instead. In this webinar, I'm giving you the exact steps I took. The first three things I did, or the first three things I realized when I was on my journey to change my money mindset um, that I used to manifest incredible success and wealth and abundance. And I'm not leaving anything on the table. This is probably why the webinar or this workshop tonight, why do I keep calling it a webinar? That sounds so like so stupid. This workshop tonight, it'll probably run way, way, way over time because I just end up like giving, giving, giving a lot. But this is great news for you guys, not so much for my kids who are just like, get off the computer, mom. <laughs> we want to watch Netflix. All right. Also, if you are watching the live version, we've got 380 people on the live call at the moment. If you stay with me right to the end, I'm giving away one of my human as fuck mugs as well. So hang on right to the end. Listen to all the bonuses and extras I've got for you guys. And I'm going to be giving away one of my mugs. So hold on for that. All right. What I'm going to do now as I really start to get into this training. So this is the last time you're seeing my face. Hi. Bye. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm going to turn the video off because anyone that's been on a workshop with me before will know that I will spend the entire time playing with my hair if I leave the video on and what I want to be able to do is not give a shit about my hair and I want to give a shit about giving you guys an amazing workshop so what I'm going to do right now stop the video and let's get straight into it so this is a bit of an outdated picture my hair is a lot longer now but a little bit about me and a little bit about my journey so like six months ago actually it was more than that now probably about like 18 months ago I was living every mother's worst nightmare. I opened my bank account and there was three numbers staring back at me. Like that's it. I didn't even have four numbers. I just had three, $300. That was it. And it would have been okay, but I had a pile of credit card debt that had mounted up from um, a previous business that I, or a previous job that I'd been involved in. I had a car loan, my husband had a car loan and my husband and I were actually both out of work. My husband was working casually then, um, he, his contract had finished and another one hadn't begun yet and I was not, you know, pulling in any income at that point. I was between businesses as well. We literally had no money coming in, nothing came in. Like, I don't even know 
how we survived, to be honest. Like my husband was waking up at two or three o'clock in the morning and vomiting just from anxiety. I wasn't sleeping at all. Um, you know, it was a really, really traumatic time for us. So we literally had no money coming in. We couldn't even live paycheck to paycheck because there wasn't a paycheck, which is just mental. Now I look at it. So we hit absolutely rock bottom, but I was sitting there in bed one night and he was vomiting. I'm just going, Oh my God, something has to change. I realized that the decisions I'd made up until that point in my life had created a life where I was forced to count every cent. I mean, like Aaron would get paid and I would take all the money out of the bank and put it in little cash envelopes. And, you know, I would have to preset the amount of fuel when I fill up my car to make sure I didn't spend more than I had allotted to our fuel budget for that week. It was every single cent got counted. Every single cent mattered. I would feel my stomach physically ache when I went to check the mailbox in case there was a bill in there. And if you guys are ever like, if you live in Australia, I know that some of the people on this call are from the States and from, um, you know, places all over the world, even South Africa, but in Australia, and I know, especially in South Australia, I'm not sure about the other States actually, but we get our car registration form in like this, um, recycled brown paper envelope, but your fines also come in that brown paper envelope. So you go to the letterbox and you're just praying that that brown paper envelope isn't in there because it means you've got like a speeding fine or a parking ticket, like something's in there. And then you get the brown paper envelope and you're like, oh my God, I really hope this is my registration. But either way, those brown paper envelopes signify like at least $600 is leaving your life <laughs> every time you get them. So I would I like, actually feel sick when I went to check the mailbox in case there was a bill in there. And worst of all, I had no idea what to do about it. Cause I had tried every budget program. I have tried, you know, the envelope method, the cash method, the 10, 10, 10 rule. I had actually even worked with accountants. I'd had like people like a, a certain service take over all my finances and work the budget out for me. And you know what? Nothing was working. Absolutely nothing was working, but I knew there had to be an answer because I mean, how come other women I could see in other families were financially successful. I was one and you know, they were financially successful and going on great holidays and buying their second investment property. And I was sitting at home trying to figure out how the fuck to make pasta, like plain 95 cent Coles pasta with some Lego sauce seem more exciting for like the, the fifth night in a row because pasta is cheap. So what I did is I started to study and implement money mindset trainings. I realized that no matter what fancy budget I had, none of the budget was going to save me if I didn't change the way I actually thought and believed and acted around money. So I started to study and implement money mindset trainings. I read every book I could get my hands on. I took every free course online you know, and congratulations, you guys, I've been exactly where you are. You're listening to this free workshop right now. I've been there. I've sat in that seat. I've listened with those headphones on. I know exactly how you're feeling. And I just want to let you know, it's okay to take the next leap because it is going to be, get better. I read every book, took every free course, and I even hung out in the self-development section of the library because some of the books I couldn't afford. Sometimes the postage on the books from the States, the postage was three times the cost of the actual Book. So instead I would convince my lovely librarian to buy it for the library and then I would borrow it. <laughs> uh, she's lucky. Um, I'm lucky. She loves me and I'm always in there borrowing books. So she, she did a couple of little deals for me. Um, but slowly, and I mean like very slowly at first, my world began to shift. I started to see money come into my life. So it was really, really slow at first. It's just like finding a couple of extra dollars, um, you know, on the street, getting a free coffee. It was little things like that slowly at first, but within months I was starting to manifest hundreds here and then thousands in other areas. I started seeing opportunities around me and my ideas that I had in the back of my head, they started to work. All of it happened while I had two kids at home with me, one with special needs as well. Just putting that out there. Okay. People had told me that I would always struggle and that you couldn't get ahead 
once you've got kids. There's kind of like this thing where it's like you need to go out and live your life before you have kids. And I, I see this a lot with a lot of my friends. You know, we're the same age and they're not even thinking about kids yet. They're like, we, we want to get the house and we want to buy the boat and we want to have the motorbikes. And we want to do all the trips before we have kids because we know once we have kids, our life is over. Like there's this, this myth out there that the minute you have kids, nothing's ever going to work for you again. And it's just like ultimate sacrifice from then on in. But it's just not true, okay? They are wrong when they say that you have to just like, you trade off kids for struggle and sacrifice. A life filled with abundance and wealth is totally in your reach. You just need to know how to unlock it. So you can spend hundreds of hours reading and listening and trialing different ways to improve your situation, or you can just hang out with me tonight on this webinar, right? So I'm a self-proclaimed badass boss mama. I'm a wine lover. I love my wine. I live in the Barossa Valley, so I've literally grown up around wine and seeing that industry and even though I don't work in that industry myself I was the type you know we grew up in a community where um you know you wouldn't you weren't going out to town or going to nightclubs as a teenager you were going to your friends houses whose family owned wineries and you like we were drinking red and white wine when other kids were probably doing tequila shots so I am a massive wine lover and I'm a huge fan of the f word So you're probably going to hear me say fuck quite a lot in tonight's training. I am totally upfront about my language because I feel like there's no point of being this super professional, polished person online. And then if you came around to my house for a barbecue, I'm this total like rough, rough potty mouth. I like have the mouth of a sailor, right? So I want to be completely authentic with you. I started my own two businesses from sweat equity, like scratch, like, from the very beginning with my own money as well, which I'm really, really proud of. Um, And yeah, my son, Eric is autistic as well. So I have two kids, um, Eric's seven, he's autistic and life's kind of, it's kind of complicated with an autistic child. It's just a whole nother level of commitment, I guess, and, and time management into your life. So tonight's workshop, what makes this different really? Because there's so much stuff out there today talking about, budgets and books about finance and programs about manifestation. It's all out there already. But what makes this different? This is different because I've read all of that stuff and I've implemented all of it. And I know that you don't get one without the other. Yes, you need a killer budget. Yes, you need to learn about finance and stocks and shares and have long-term goals about your money. But none of that works if you don't change your attitude and your behavior and your belief systems around money and wealth and worthiness as well. You need both. It's the key of you leveraging the power of manifestation, but also using inspired action to make the difference. And that is what my program is based on. Taking the two complete polar opposite ends of the spectrum and bringing it all together in a pretty peach bow, obviously, because. We like nice, pretty peach things here at Sexy Selfish. So having a sip of coffee because it has been a big day. All right. I've done a lot of things right. I have. I bought my first house at 19 um, up until a few years ago when my cars were like 10, 15 grand. I always pay for my cars in cash. Now I own a lot more expensive cars. <laughs> so, but I've done a lot of things right with money. We bought our, bought our first house at 19. Our mortgage was like bugger all. And I'm really, really proud of that. But I've also done a lot of things wrong. I fucked up with money so many times and I've you know how they say the lessons in your life will keep showing up again and again and again until you learn them that's definitely what happened for me and money I had to repeat the same lessons over and over and over and over and over again until I actually got the freaking hint right I'm human as fuck I'm just like you. You're just like me. I might have just read a few more books and practiced a few more things um, than you have right now, but I'm here to teach you exactly what I've learned. So what did I learn? By changing my mindset around money, by making a relationship with money a focus moving forward in my life, I learned that happier mums are happier families. As a mum, you are really the mood controller for your family. You have a lot of influence over your family's happiness levels and whether you go and have adventures as a family. It really does come down to you. 
So if you are absolutely fucking crushed by money guilt and fear and you're terrified of bills, you're not the most happy, present, amazing mum as you want to be, right? So happier mums are happier families. You need security in your life to be able to reach self-actualization. Okay, like you want to reach a level. You know, if you ever had Richard Branson, the guy who owns Virgin Airlines and Virgin Phone and Virgin whatever, and he's like, I just have a lot of fun with my work because I don't do it for the money. I just do it to create things. That's what I want you to have. Like once you have the security, once you have your basic needs, once you have your money shit sorted out, then you can just do shit because you want to do it. You can paint, you can go to the beach, you can like do whatever you want to do. Um, and that's how you really have that level of choice and freedom and self-actualization and real presence in your life when your basic needs, when your security, when your financial security is taken care of. When you have that security, that is what gives you that abundance mindset where you can be creative, when you do have choice in what you want to do with your life, how you want to spend your days. And I've already spoken about the fact that manifestation plus inspired action is key. I think that was my biggest takeaway. Like I had to dive deep into this money mindset work because just setting budgets wasn't fixing it. But also just working on like money work and manifestation that wasn't actually going to fix anything if I didn't have the budget as well, you know, so all tied in together. And that's really what I think is lacking in the marketplace today. You will either be able to pick up a finance book and learn all about budgets and stocks and shares and insurance and investing into your super, or you can pick up a book about the law of attraction and it will tell you how to vision board and set goals and meditate naked on a mountaintop in the moonlight. But if you don't have both, you're never going to get where you want to go. What I also learned is that money is not evil, despite what pretty much everything in the world will try and tell you. Money is in fact really freaking sexy. And a big takeaway for a lot of women, for a lot of mums, is the fact that you don't have to justify what you spend. Oh, I know, mind blowing, right? You don't have to justify what you spend to your mother-in-law, to other people at school pickup, to your kids, to your husband. You know, there's that thing when someone's like, oh my God, I love your shoes. And you're like, thanks. They were like $4 at Kmart. Isn't it amazing? It's like, why do we do that? Why do we do that? You know, when you get a haircut, I don't know, I used to do this a long time ago. I would get a haircut and I'd come home and I'd be like, oh, I got my haircut. And my husband would be like, oh, how much did it cost me? Oh, $170. And I'd instantly start like, trying to justify it. Like I needed this treatment and I needed this and I needed that. And look how great it looks. And it's like, you actually don't have to justify what you spend. And I can't even tell you how freeing a relationship is when you don't have that justification or judgment clouding your choices with money. And... The thing I want you to think about right now before we move forward into anything else is to remember that money guilt has no place in your family. You have an incredibly full, amazing, wonderful life and you don't have space or time or energy in that for guilt around money. Imagine how much extra time and choice and freedom you would have if you didn't have to worry about money. If you didn't have to spend hours on the phone to Telstra trying to negotiate for $10 off your latest bill. If you didn't have to worry about money, how much more free would you feel? Incredible, right? Yeah, all the comments are going off like, oh my God, it would be fucking life changing. <laughs> Casey says she wouldn't know what to do with herself. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. So money guilt has no place in your family. I discovered all of this the hard way. I had to hit rock bottom where there was no money coming into it's like $300. We have $300 to our name and our mortgage is $325. And I'm just going, fuck, they are like, I'm not going to be able to afford to make my mortgage payment this week. And that was pretty freaking terrifying. I discovered this the hard way. And now I'm giving you the easy way. You can bypass all the crap I had to go through and you can like do the work and skip straight to the happy ever after if you want. That's what I'm giving you. If you pay attention, make the most of this call, guys. If you are doing something else right now, if you are watching Netflix, if you are, I don't know, like 
what else are you doing? Stop and pay attention to this because it could change your fucking life, right? Are you ready? Because it's about to go down. I always think of Kevin Hart when I say that. If you've seen his comedy show where he talks about his swearing and his teacher, it's about to go down. All right. The hard way. This is where I want to clarify for you guys so that you can acknowledge and take some responsibility if you are currently doing things the hard way because it's like 12 step program, right? First step, acknowledgement. <laughs> so the hard way is when you're hiding from money. So you basically ignore the problem. You don't check your bank account. You pay your bills like, oh, at the last minute or after the due date. You just like don't want to deal with it. So you're totally hiding from it. You don't talk about it. You don't look at it. You don't deal with it. The hard way is guilt around money. It's that, you know, spending, buying a takeaway coffee and then feeling so guilty and awful and disgusting about it. It's restricting those crazy budgets you do where you like live off $18 a, a week or whatever some stupid shit is crazy, super restrictive budgets. Guess what? It's just like a restricting diet. It won't work. It might temporarily work. You might hit that 12 week weight loss or whatever, or that 12 week savings goal. But after that, what are you going to do? You're going to binge because you haven't actually created a new belief system. You've just created a temporary habit with severe restriction. So just please stop doing that. Okay. Just promise. Just stop. All right. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Um, <laughs> hustling. I see so many women, like so many women putting in 16 hour days, hustling like total motherfuckers for their business, trying to create more wealth and abundance and success. And what they need to, like actually what they need to do is surrender a little bit and let the manifestation, let law of attraction, let the universe take the reins a little bit and help out. So stop with the hustling. That's the hard way. The crazy budgets. You know, like the one, the one I said where I take all the money out and put it in envelopes or letting someone else, um, you know, there's services out there. As a really popular one here in Australia, which I won't name, but we've used that previously where they essentially just take all your money and they give you like an allowance, which works for a lot of people, but it's not actually changing your habits around money. It's not actually helping you long-term. You're just hiding and you're giving someone else control. And it's that guilt and fear and lack that just surrounds us every single day with money. Every time you pay for something, every time you see something you want, but you know, you can't afford, which is a total bullshit statement as well, but we'll go into that later. Stop living in guilt and fear and lack because that is the hard way. So do you want the easy way that will have you manifesting money and unfucking your finances today? Do you actually want it? I always have to ask here because we're about to deep dive into this and I don't want to waste your time at all. Like I want the right people, the people who are ready for this to see it. And if that's not you, that's totally cool. But maybe you should click off and just, I don't know, go watch the bachelor or something. If you actually want to change your money mindset and you want to learn how to manifest more money, if you want to unfuck your finances beginning today, pop a yes in the comments. Let me know. Like I need some comment, I need some reassurance that I'm speaking to the right people right now. The people that really want this. Yeah. I mean, of course you do. I know you do. All right. Comments. Oh my God. Okay. I can't even keep up. I can't scroll fast enough. Yes. Yes. Fuck yes. Hell yes. 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 I'm in. Yeah. Okay. All right. Everyone wants it. Of course you do. I knew you did. All right. So in the past six months, I've helped hundreds of mums to change their money mindset and start living the lives they've always dreamed of. And that's my impact. I just want to let you know before we dive into this, like I honestly don't give a fuck about getting money out of you at all. This is not what I'm here for. I'm here to help the mums of this generation fix their money mindset before the next generation grows up and gets their credit cards. I want to, you know, fix this mess now so that we can pass on this knowledge and pass on, you know, having a really, really great relationship with money to our kids instead of just passing on more fucked up money mindsets. So that is my impact. I'm here to help you stop delaying your happiness. And I just want you guys to realize that this is about you. Yes. But it is also about so much more than you. This is the legacy that you leave your family. And if you, you need to take responsibility and, and decide 
to change your money mindset. Otherwise, you're just going to keep continuing passing down negative money cycles to your kids and their grandkids and et cetera and et cetera and et cetera, right? So the three secrets that we are going to be going through tonight. Secret number one is the fact that you do deserve abundance. Secret number two is how you do anything is how you do everything, which is really, really important. And then secret number three is your money story. It's what is, this is really what's fucking you up. Okay. But the good thing is that you can change it. You can actually change this, which is really exciting. <laughs> I want you to know going into this, um, that when we talk about your money story, it can actually bring up a lot of resentment and frustration towards your parents, towards society. I just want to let you know that those feelings are completely normal, but to please remember that your parents were just doing the very best that they could with the knowledge that they had available to them. And you, right up until this moment, where we're about to dive into these three secrets, you only knew what you only knew. So up until now, you've been doing the best you can with the information you have. What I'm about to share with you shortly is going to create an entire different reality for you. Then if you continue to just share your fucked up money cycle with your kids, then you are choosing to do that. Before you didn't know any better. When I click to the next slide and we keep going, now you are going to know better. So now it is on you, right? So secret number one, you do deserve abundance. Um, anyone who knows me knows I speak in my trainings a lot about Beyonce because obviously Queen B. But I want you to realize that there is no difference between you and Beyonce. Uh, maybe apart from raw natural singing talent, but there's actually no other difference. We are all worthy of success and abundance. I choose, I'm just making sure. Nope. I thought I might've had another slide. I didn't. I choose to believe that being rich and wealthy is a motherfucking choice because when you come from the point of view and you take a hundred percent responsibility for wealth, then you have the power to change your relationship with money. So understand this guys. The only reason why some people are rich and wealthy is because they adopt a rich set of habits and beliefs. I know that sounds kind of crazy and some of you got totally triggered right now. That is okay. Take a deep breath. I want you to make a note of that mentally or otherwise. We will circle back to that when you join Money for Mummy. Some of you are saying and thinking right now, but Shona, oh my God, what if a person is born into a rich family or they inherit a large amount of money? What about privilege? And you're getting really angry and defensive. I feel you, right? And I totally want to acknowledge privilege. It exists. It happens. But there's a certain point where you need to make a choice whether that privilege dictates your entire life or whether you choose to rise, you know, push through that privilege. Okay? The truth is that even if someone is born into a rich family or they inherit a large amount of money, they would need to maintain rich habits and beliefs to actually keep the money. If they were born into an inherent sort of like trust fund baby, but they adopted a set of poor habits and beliefs, they would lose all of their money. You see, being rich and wealthy, it is nothing more than a set of habits and decisions and beliefs. Just like being poor, now don't stab me for this, guys. Being poor is nothing more than a set of habits, decisions, and beliefs. Uh, I know, pitchforks, right? You're, just, you're coming after me with your rage right now. But it's true. Like, do you guys want to create a different future? Then you need to really open your minds and listen to what I'm saying here. Being poor is nothing more than a set of habits, decisions, and beliefs. So here's the irony around that. Because basically, we're all born on a level playing field, right? There's no one up in the great powers that be that decide, yes, this baby, I think this baby would do great as a CEO and this baby will do great making sandwiches at Subway. And this baby will be bankrupt before 30. And this particular baby will be on to make a famous singer one day and I think she should marry Jay-Z. There's no one up there deciding and there's no one up there controlling what happens to you. You are in charge. Here's the irony. Most people try to get rich using poor habits and beliefs. 
So here's what you need to do. Start planning to get rich using the rich habits and beliefs. Brainwash yourself to believe that being wealthy and rich is a choice. See it for what it is. It is nothing more than a set of habits, decisions, and beliefs, which you can create. Okay. It's going the highest level version of me wakes up early, meditates, exercises, drinks her lemon water, works on her business, is present with her kids. If that's the, the habits that you, need, you know you need to adopt to become a wealthy, abundant, successful woman, and yet you're sleeping until 11, that's on you, babe. Like you, you know that it is a choice, okay? Therefore, anyone, including you, yes, you, you beautiful little badass listening right now, you can be rich and wealthy. Seriously, like adopting this mindset will force you to step the fuck up. When you start telling yourself that being rich and wealthy is a choice, you are forced to start implementing and adopting new sets of habits and beliefs. And if you don't decide to step up to the most wealthy version of you, well, then quite frankly, um, it's on you. Okay. No one else. And you do deserve abundance. So stop telling yourself if, that you don't. Okay. So that's the first thing. Stop telling yourself it won't happen to me. Uh, that's just not the type of family we are. Oh, I'll never be able to financially afford anything. Stop the negative talk in the first place and instead flip the switch. Okay. Oh, was wrong button. Secret number two, how you do anything is how you do everything. So before I jump into this, what did you guys think of secret number one? Because that one's a bit controversial. <laughs> Some people don't like hearing um, that they're choosing to be poor. If, yeah, some people are saying that that's like a really interesting topic. Some people don't agree. Yeah, cool. And some people are like, yes, this makes so much sense. Kelly says, this is amazing. Have I never thought of this before? Leah's like, oh my God, I'm in tears already. This is so true. Yeah, yeah. So I know that the right people are listening, okay? If that triggered you in any way where you felt like your financial abundance is out of your control completely, you're like, it has nothing to do with me. I can't change anything. If you just felt really triggered by secret number one, I want you to hang on to the end of the webinar, obviously, and click on the link that I'm going to give you. And I want you to go and check out Money for Mummy because if you're being triggered by this stuff, that shows me there is some deep internal money mindset, money blueprint work that we need to do together. Um, and I would love for you to join Money for Mummy so that I can actually help you with that. All right. Okay. So let's jump into secret number two. How you do anything is how you do everything. It's a choice. We just talked about this. The amount of money you bring into your life and keep is just a reflection of your personal belief system around money and what you are an energetic match to. So one's ability to make money and keep it is directly related to the level of self-worth that you feel. Understand this. It is incredibly hard to make money with low self-worth. If you are just mean girl talking the shit out of yourself all day long, you are never going to be able to manifest money and abundance to your life. When we have low self-worth, we believe that we are not worthy or deserving of love. I believe that money and love are the same frequency. Well, it's not just I believe, like it's proven, whatever. <laughs> money and love are the same frequency. They both represent an abundance in, within the universe. So if you're in the pursuit of making more money or increasing your income, your actual pursuit should be increasing your self-worth, how you see your value. As a byproduct, you actually make more money, which is really cool. So in the secret one, we looked at poor habits versus rich habits and the fact that you are absolutely deserving that it's a choice in the context of money. It's easy to see that if you want to be abundant and wealthy, you need to adopt rich habits. But how you do one thing is how you do everything. So hands up, did you, when you were a kid, did you wake up and make your bed? Is that something you did every morning? Yes or no? Pop it in the comment box. I did and it's still something I do every, I don't think I've ever left the house without making my bed. Ever. Um... Sorry, no, maybe once when I was hungover. <laughs> That's probably like the only time that I can remember coming home and I hadn't made my bed. Um, but I do it every single morning. And that's 
like some of you guys might have seen there's an incredible talk on YouTube where like some Navy general or something talks about the fact, make your bed every single day. Cause how you do anything is how you do everything. And if you leave your bed in a mess, I bet your life's a mess, right? Where does self-worth start and where does it end? It doesn't, which is why how you do one thing in your life is actually how you do everything. You see everything that you do in life, every tiny little thing, whether it's your health, your relationships, your finances, is a reflection or end manifestation of the core belief about yourself. These core beliefs infiltrate every area of your life, seeping down to the tiniest little thing, right? This is why I say how you do one thing is how you do everything. And this is what I was actually like brought up on, um, which is really cool. Like we, you know, it was very much like take care of yourself. What, how are you showing up every day? Are you showing up a hundred percent? Are you showing up 8%, right? Understand that your finances and your relationship with money is the end manifestation, which means those core beliefs that you have around yourself are also infiltrating and wreaking havoc on the other areas in your life. So today what I want you to do is widen your scope, expand your gaze, like to the end of the horizon, everything, everything that light touches is yours. <laughs> I don't know if that's a quote from the Lion King. I'm just such a mum. Can you tell? Disney quotes all the fucking time. Anyway, I want you to widen the scope and look at your poor habits in the other areas of your life because you can have poor habits. It's not just to do with money, okay? If you truly get the how you do one thing is how you do everything concept, then all of a sudden you'll jump at the chance to improve all areas of your life because at the end of the day, they are reflective of your core belief. They are reflective of how you view your own worth and value. How you do one thing is how you do everything. It's the little day-to-day things that add up to make us successful. But right now, you probably think that these things are nothing. Like it doesn't even cross your mind, right? They are everything. So if you want to make, say you want to manifest 10K, 20K per month, which is an amazing goal, guys. Let me tell you, nothing feels as, you know, fucking awesome as your first 10K month. It feels amazing. That's great. But first you have to start getting really tuned into the little things far beyond the scope of just money. Because these little day-to-day things that are seemingly irrelevant are a clear indication of your core beliefs. They show you where your self-worth is at. So do you want to know? why you're not making money because chat like you might be on this webinar right now and you might be doing all the right things you might be manifesting and vision boarding and doing your intentions and your affirmations you might have a killer budget and it's just still not working right is that you lee is like yep that's me candace is like oh my god girl have you been following me around at home no i haven't Candace. um no, but I'm, I'm gathering that that just means you're like, yes, I know exactly. I know how you feel. I know completely how you feel. If you want to know why you're not making money right now, look at every other area of your life. How often do you do things half-assed? Let's get honest here. How often do you half-ass shit? How often do you try to cut corners? How often do you want shortcuts? Where do you have low standards. This might be in your relationships. Um, Maybe it's in your personal presentation. Like where have your standards really slipped? Where do you not set boundaries? This is a big one for mums, for relationships, for women. We are awful at setting boundaries. And when we don't set proper boundaries, we essentially say, hi, I'm not worth anything. Take everything from me. Right? We don't value ourselves enough to say no to things. So where are you not setting boundaries? And this is a really great one. It would be so funny to say what, like hear what people say when I say this, how many broken things do you have in your house? How many broken appliances do you have in your house? Because all these things are a reflection of your core beliefs that you are not worthy, deserving or good enough. So this was so interesting. When I first read about this topic, I guess with the, um, the broken appliances situation. 
it was very interesting to me because I had a broken kettle. I did. I had this Kmart kettle that worked, it worked well, but it would also, every time I tried to use it, if another appliance was on at the same time in the house, it would short out all the electricity. So I would have to like go outside and flip the fuse box and all of that. And I was just hanging out with this broken kettle. So on a surface level, I was doing my intentions every day and my journaling and I was saging my house on a full moon and I was doing everything right to say, I'm a wealth magnet and money's attracted to me. <laughs> and on the, on the surface level saying to the universe, please send me large amounts of money immediately. But on a subconscious physical level, I was still in such lack and fear and scarcity mindset they wouldn't even replace a $9 broken Kmart kettle right? I was being a complete fucking idiot on a, on, you know, conscious level, trying to manifest more money, doing all the right things, subconsciously still saying I'm broke and I'm not even worth a new kettle. So how you do anything is how you do everything. That got deep. I'm going to check comments quickly. Has, have you guys got any broken appliances in your house? right now uh oh, belinda says wow this is so true i've been trying to manifest large amounts of money for my business but i haven't even set up the payment portal to take money from my clients yeah that is a great example belinda of you cock blocking the universe from sending the money that you're trying to get because you have nowhere to receive it from so there are all these ways that we physically cock block ourselves when we're not doing everything you know, what, you know, how you do everything is how you do anything, whatever it is. You know what I mean? You're getting it. You're getting it. Yes. The comments are coming through. I will. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are right. You're awesome. Fantastic. Cool. The money story. All right. Wait, sip of coffee. This is a big one. The money story. This is, there may be tears. It's a pretty big one. Maybe some massive aha moments. Pre, pre warning you guys. So, the money story. You've been taught your money story starting as early as when you were a child. Yep. Just like a teeny tiny baby watching mommy and daddy fight over bills, watching mum feel really guilty or justifying herself massively. Um, you know, even if she went out for a coffee with a friend, watching your dad, um, you know, be really, really stressed at tax time, all these messages, we kind of collect in our subconscious and they form our belief about money, about the world, about rich versus poor. And all this kind of happens. Actually, I'm not going to quote this because I know the study has recently been done and it's changed a little bit, it's a little bit broader spectrum, but originally they were saying between the ages of one and seven, I think it's actually up now to 15 between the ages of one to 50. So essentially a childhood, right? you're subconsciously collecting these beliefs and stories about money. Okay. The great thing about this is if you can acknowledge your money story, then you have the choice to rewrite your money story. And this is not just about you. This is not just for you, but your family too. You think if you got your money story, if you got your belief systems hardwired into you from the way that your parents reacted to getting a bill, if you got that from them, then what are your kids getting from you? Okay. Prior to this transformation that I've been through that I'm sharing with you guys today, if my kids look back in 30 years and said, what did they learn about money from their parents subconsciously? It would be along the lines of, um, we never have enough. Uh, mom and dad can never afford anything. Everything is secondhand. Always worried about money. Every decision in our life, um, you know, money was a deciding factor. It always came down to, could we afford it? Everything, money dictated our entire life. It caused so much stress. Money was like this evil, dirty, toxic thing that there was never enough of. That's what my kids would have carried on and repeated for their kids and so on and so on and so forth. If I hadn't have made this change to rewrite my money story to now one where my kids know money is abundant and money is fun and money is sexy and it can give you so much choice and freedom and they're really excited by it and they love 
counting out their money box and they love seeing their bank account increase. Um, Eric's already, he's seven and he can't wait to open a CrossFit gym. That is his whole goal. He wants to open a CrossFit gym um, so he can make money and travel the world as an environmentalist cleaning up beaches. That's what he's really passionate about as a seven-year-old, which is really cool. You can rewrite your money story because money is just energy. It is an energetic exchange. This is the thing that trips me up all the time because I have these conversations with women and they're like, oh, I got all these bills and I just, I just don't want to pay them. Like, it's just, ugh, bills make me so mad. And like, they're talking about the electricity bill. And I'm like, but babe, you, like, it's been winter and you've been running a heater and a dryer and having electricity and lights and TV and Netflix and being able to heat up bottles for your toddler. Like, yes, you have to pay money for a bill and the bill feels uncomfortable. But when you actually look at what you got in exchange for that bill, like comfort, security, warmth, light, that's pretty awesome. It's just an energetic exchange, a way to represent value. It's not good. It's not bad. And once you can learn to detach emotionally from money, you can instead start to actually manifest more of it into your life. This was a big thing for me when I learned to detach emotionally from money. And my coach, Lauren, and my beautiful coach, I owe her so much. She said to me, she's like, you should feel the same if you got $10 deposit into your bank account or 10 grand. You should just feel patiently excited and grateful all the time. And it's true. So I don't have the attachment to money now. Like money's fucking sexy and amazing. And I love making money. It feels good. But it doesn't control how I feel anymore. I don't have money guilt. I don't have money fear, but I also don't have like money passion and money excitement and money. You know, like you get on a high when your tax check comes back in sometimes. I don't have that anymore. And it feels so fucking good to not be controlled by that. You can start to manifest more of it into your life when you address your money story. So a couple of examples from women that I've just worked with, even just recently, one of my beautiful clients, Sarah, her money story came from the fact she was brought up, um, you know, in a very, very religious household. And it was that whole mentality of money is the root of all evil that she really got drummed into her over and over and over again over the years. And so what happened is her family started to glorify struggle. It all became about how little can you spend? What can you reuse? What can you recycle? What can you, and these are not bad things. Don't get me wrong. I think these are all incredible things, but it's the intention that comes behind it. She wasn't thrift shopping because um, she thought it was great to reuse clothes. She was thrift shopping because she's a motherfucking tight ass and she could not justify spending a cent on herself. She had this money story, even from shows that she watched, like the whole Scrooge thing, the Christmas Scrooge, the fact that all the TV shows she watched when she was little, it was all about rich people are evil money will corrupt everyone. And it's, it's crazy to think sometimes that the things that happen to us when we're four or five, seven, eight, ten, control us for the rest of our lives. But they do. When you think about it, like you're, as a child, you're learning about the world from the environment that you're in. And if your environment tells you money is evil, money is the root of all evil, money is greed, corrupt is just wrong, like whatever it is, that's, you know, the gauge that you get, the compass that you get for the rest of the life that tells you what to believe. And it's not good, right? But you right now, if you've never heard about your money story or some people call it your money blueprint before, you wouldn't have known that it's something that you can work on or change or it might have been something that's been affecting you every single day for the rest of your life. But now you know right now and now it's up to you to decide to change that for your family too i mean think about how many times that your, that your money story is affecting so much else like if you woke if you grew up with that money story there's never enough money ever like no matter how hard you work like the government will take it tax will take it blah 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 whatever yeah maybe let's go, let's go with the tax one if you grew up with your dad hating paying tax and your mom complaining about tax and that the government's good for nothing and you know, tax dollars just going to waste and you just, you know, really, really negative about tax. 
if you decided you grew up and you wanted to open a hairdressing salon and it was going really well, but you had the opportunity to move to a bigger store, bigger space, hire more staff and pull in a lot more money. Say you were jumping from like under a hundred K to over 300 K turnover. I don't know if that's correct. I don't know how much hairdressers make just spitballing here, but as a child, you watched your family hate paying tax and tell you that it's the worst thing ever to pay tax. That story you learned as a child could actually stop you subconsciously from being as, as successful as you know you can be because you don't want to have to pay more tax. You don't want the complication of that extra money, like more money, more problems, right? And you don't want to deal with that. You don't want the complication of more tax or bills or having to do GST or your BAS or the PAYG, whatever it is. That can fully subconsciously I mean, I would love to chat with you about your money story. Everyone has one. And that is consciously controlling you right now when it comes to money, right? You know how we have some incredible women who want to make a lot of money and want to be really successful in their careers, but they grew up with their mum's brother was really, really rich and rich and wealthy and was kind of a douchebag, all right? Like maybe he cheated on his wife, maybe something else happened. I don't know, but there was some reason that you thought your rich uncle was a dickhead. And so you are going for a job interview at this incredible company. You know, it's a six figure salary. It's the most you've ever made in your life. You ace the interview and right as you're walking out the door, you make a stupid, immature joke to the person interviewing you and you lose the job. And you might think at the time, like, why did I do that? That is you self-sabotaging because you are terrified internally on a small child level inside of you of becoming your rich uncle, which you associate rich with being a dickhead or a douchebag or not a nice person, right? Your money story is self is subconsciously sabotaging you every single day. And it is the most important thing you can work on. That got a little bit grim. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Let me just check the chat here. Um, yes, so relatable. Oh, my God. Yep, this is so true. Angela says, uh, yeah, yeah, she used to watch The Little Rascals, the movie, and the bad guy in that was the rich guy. So I always associated rich with bad. Yeah, exactly. So that's a TV show. Well, it was a movie, a movie, The Little Rascals. That is a movie that has been controlling you your entire life because you learned it in an age where you were really vulnerable. Your mind was like a little sponge. Um, instead of questioning that belief, you accepted it as gospel. And if you think about it, like think about, um, right now off the top of my head, Harry Potter. Everyone who's, you know, we root for the underdog, but Harry, Ron, all that. They're broke. They're totally broke and poor and povo. And the mean guys in these stories are the Malfoys who are really, really wealthy. And I'm not saying like they're not good or bad people. They might be, but we just continually keep having this message that money equals evil and money equals bad and money equals selfish. And, um, you know, how many Christmas movies, how many movies in general have you watched where the parents are really successful? They have great careers. They have a lot of money. Um, but the kids are miserable because they don't get any time with mum and dad. Mum and dad work so hard. The kids are so neglected. Where's the Christmas spirit? Whatever it is. This is subconscious stuff that we've grown up with and it's just not true. You can actually have money and be successful and abundant and be an incredible parent as well. You don't need to like slip into that stereotype. So guys, I want to share a couple of um, my clients with you. This is Sarah. Sarah's incredible. I was actually on the phone with her this morning, but Sarah lost her sparkle. We knew each other through, um, you know, some business work before I opened Sexy Selfish and we stayed in touch. Sarah has two kids and she is a full-time mom and she's about to do homeschooling as well. I know she's super mom. She had been in a network marketing business for about six years, but she eventually got to the point where it just did not align with her values anymore. And she was not making the money that she had previously. 
she was actually one of the babes, the first babes to join my program. And it helped her get her passion back, her purpose, her sparkle in her life. She started getting excited about stuff again, you know. She published an ebook, which is amazing, all about her and her family's journey and decision to build and live in a tiny home. Yep. So her and her husband and their two daughters live in a tiny home. It's incredible. And she started her own company as a tiny home and simple living consultant. It's opened the door to a completely different state of abundance by working on her money mindset. And I think last time I checked our Facebook group, she said that she had actually manifested $7,000 extra last month from unexpected sources. This is the best bit. Like it was literally the most crazy situation. So insurance company um, called her up and they had an extra payout from a car she crashed years ago, like massive amounts of tax bad, all this stuff just out of literally nowhere from being a part of money for mummy. She manifested all this extra money. It was really, really exciting to see that. So before we dive into the next section, I just want to check in with you guys. I know the chat is going off right now, which is awesome. But the past hour we've been hanging. Has it been an hour? I don't think I can see the time. Maybe it has. I don't know. The past hour. Would you agree it has been time well spent so far? Have you learned something? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Crystal. You can't cover everything you need in an hour webinar. Even if we had all day, I'm not even sure I'd be able to cover everything all day with you, right? Like that's the reason we have a retreat. <laughs> so I want to get your permission to share with you a special offer so that you can get everything that you do need to know. All right. And if you act fast, I'm going to give you a really, really special deal because I value your time and your commitment for being here on the call with me tonight. Sorry, can I get a hell yeah? You guys want to check out what I've got for you? It's like not tooting my own horn, but a uh, toot toot. It's pretty awesome. Yes? Hell yeah, hell yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, okay, I love it. Thank you for swearing, Kelly. Makes me feel really comfortable when people swear. So, I read a, a, a um, article recently that said that people that swear are the most honest people. I'm like, yeah, that's definitely true. I will always be the most honest bitch in the room. So stop delaying your happiness for things to change. First, you have to change. And that's what we spoke about. Like there's no point getting a million dollars and you can totally MC hammer it and lose everything. But if you have the belief and the habit and the mindset of a millionaire, and then you get a million dollars, Hello, abundant, amazing future, right? So I want to chat with, take some time to chat with you guys about Money for Mummy, which is the program that you guys all requested and begged and pleaded and gave me totally, total puppy dog eyes and guilted me into until I created it for you. <laughs> so this is for you. Um, Kelly's like, yes, yes. <laughs> She was actually one of the ones, Kelly, um, beautiful Kelly. She was one of the ones who actually was like literally begging me for this. So yes, this is for you, my dear. Money for Mommy is a six-part program and it is designed and it, the way it works is to totally transform the way that you earn, save, spend and attract money into your life. And it is for mums. So I just wanted to share with you guys a couple of little testimonials here um, from people doing the Money for Money program. So Ashley said, this is incredible, Shona. Thank you so much for doing this. Gabby said, oh my God, this is so helpful. Shauna said, holy moly. Actually, I gotta do it in her accent. Holy moly, this is amazing. I'm really sitting down and thinking about this is so helpful. She just has the incredible, like the most incredible voice I could listen to all day. Mel says, oh my God, I just listened to week two video. Holy crap, girl, that was life-changing. I'm the type that needs to listen to it all and then go back and do the practical exercises, but wow. And I'm just like, yes, that's exactly what I want to hear. <laughs> and then Emily. Emily said, can I just say that last week my hubby and I did Shona Gates Money Mindset activity and we just made $1,500 extra in the past 24 hours. Thank you, babe. Yes, Emily, you are very, very welcome. So that's just some of the client loves, just some of my most recent messages I just pulled together really quickly um, to share with you guys just the feedback from this program. It just blows me away every day. 
So I am actually going to, I'm going to go back here. I want to run down the actual program and what we talk about in each week. And the reason why I didn't actually put this into the slideshow originally is because I was doing this workshop for a lot of people who had already checked out Money for Mummy. They already knew exactly what was involved. They just kind of wanted like some extra a reassurance that this was the right program for them. So what I'm going to share with you guys right now is what is actually in Money for Mummy. What do we do week by week? So it's over six weeks and you get the training modules, you get journals, you get meditations, you get everything that goes with it. I've really made it completely idiot proof. Um, and because your mums and you're busy and you want it condensed, you just want all this information. You want to get like, get to it. Right. So how we go over with money for mummy. So week one, it is all about kind of getting, getting into the right state, getting into the right state with it. So week one, Oh my gosh, um, my notes are almost up. Week one is abundant as fuck. <laughs> yes, I call it abundant as fuck. Um, my other course was called human as fuck. So abundant as fuck for week one made the most sense. And this is about manifesting principles, the 12 universal laws. It's about a guided manifestation technique and learning about the energy goes where energy flows. It's an introduction to the energy work around money and exactly how to manifest wealth without chanting affirmations naked in the moonlight on a mountain. Okay. It's all about creating abundance, no matter your money situation. And it's simple steps to build your abundance every single day. Week two is called the habits of a rich bitch. This is your morning routine planner, investment principles, Actually, no, sorry. Week two is budget your shit. <laughs> I'm doing so well at this. Week two is budget your shit. So this is the week where we just get down and dirty with your money. It's real talk. It's time to adult and hashtag get shit done. We give you an automated budget template. We're setting up automated transfers. We audit all your current spending and stop all unnecessary spending. And we actually go over and clarify what's necessary, what's not unnecessary, um, you know, entertainment budgets and stuff like that. And then we plan your growth. So where you make additional funds and the practical steps to creating breathing room in your life, breathing room in your budget, which is, you know, really necessary. All right. So let's me find week three now. Week three. I'm on this side. Rewiring it. No, no, that's not it. It's not that. And anyway, I'm just going to read out exactly what we go through and we'll just fill in the gaps. So habits of a rich bitch. We do a morning routine planner, investment principles, making your money work for you. We create a community of people who make you rich. The step-by-step -step money routine to guarantee your success and the simple mindset change you need to make yourself a financial wizard. Plus the four money, five money habits that you need. We also talk about rewiring your money story. So understanding your money values, understanding your money beliefs, breaking your money fears and creating new money wiring. You raise your financial ceiling to finally get out of the money patterns that are damaging you and create success instead. Break through your negative beliefs and retrain your brain to create wealth plus crushing, absolutely crushing, pulverizing your money fears. And then our last week is about getting more money. This is the strategies to creating more money in your life, how to ask for money without getting weird about it, and the simple process to creating multiple forms of income, how to choose the right income strategy, which truly aligns with who you are, and the simple scripts that I use to ask for money in order to create greater wealth. Plus, we go over a big section on goal setting, so actually figuring out how to set financial goals for the future. We also have a section about adulting. This is the question sequence to understand what is a want and what is a need. It's all about paying yourself first and investing in your future, what you want to get out of it. It's how to determine simply exactly what to spend your money on, how to stop spending guilt and how to stop living paycheck to paycheck for ever. So that's a little bit about, um, you know, what's actually 
inside money for money, <laughs> which is really, really fun. So what you're going to get, like that sounds like a lot, but what it's actually done is broken down into really bite-sized chunks for you. So you get six transformative 60 minute training modules um, and they're worth $1,200. You get six live Q&A sessions in the Sexy Selfish Elite Facebook group, which is $1,200 as well. You get six transformational workbooks and homework, which is $600. The transformational workbooks are a lot of fun. I love putting them together for you guys and actually doing the workbooks every week. That's the people that do the workbooks, like print them and physically make the time to sit down and write it out. They have the incredible results. That's where they're manifesting like well over 10K in the six weeks that we have together is the people that actually do those workbooks and homework. You also get access to the private Facebook group, the sexy selfish elite, where I put in so much extra resources and I go live all the time and just hang out and get to know you guys. And that's $997 worth of value. And the boss mama mindset portal. This is a bonus that I added in after the first round of money for mummy because I was working with so many mums in business within this program. And there were some particular topics that weren't relevant to all mums as such, but were really specific to, um, you know, business and banking and business mindset and wealth around your success in your company. So I created an entire bonus portal section. There are hours and hours and hours of content in there for you where I really, really break it down. Um, and we deep dive into money mindset of the boss mama. And that's actually worth over $2,000 on its own. That is also something that I'm continually adding to. So the money for money program, um, you know, is, is strategized and it's set and it's been created to take you through a process. Um, and that, that's how it works best. But the Boss Mama Mindset Portal, I'm constantly adding extra goodies um, and bonuses in for you all the time. So you have access to that forever as it grows, as it increases, as I add more stuff in. So together, what you're going to get, total value, $5,997 worth of value, which is pretty awesome, right? So with that, having said that, I had two options when it came to this program. I, my first option was go as cheap as possible and try to sell as many as possible. But that wouldn't really incentivize me to give you as much value as I have to really stack it, to give you all those bonuses, to give you like so much stuff that I'm giving you. Wouldn't really make me want to do that, would it? But also I know that the more people pay for something, the more seriously they take it, all right? So if I created this incredible program and charged you $7, chances are you might look at week one and you would never look at the rest of it. But if I charge you six grand, you're gonna finish every single module. You're gonna do every single exercise and it's gonna help you create those life-changing transformations that you wanna have and you will get the value out of it, right? So that was the first option. The second option, requires a little bit higher investment for you. But in exchange, I can devote more resources to guarantee your success. I can give you more. So before we go any further, I only work with people who are really serious, with women who are ready to change, with mums who know they do not want to live another day going paycheck to paycheck, who know they deserve more and that their family deserves more. So who is money for mummy for? Mummy for money for mummy, tongue tied, is for mums who are living week to week and they're just fucking over it. Okay, they don't want to do it anymore. They've had enough, they want another option. It's for mums who want more money and abundance, but they don't know how to do it. They act like they want it and they're saying the intentions, but they don't actually know how to get more money into their life, right? To create that dream life. And this is for anyone who just kind of thought, you know what? It's never going to happen for me. They've just thought money's not in my future. You know, I can't be like Beyonce. It's just not for me. Actually, babe, it is. And really, it's for mums who are action takers. So I just want you to close your eyes, hand on heart right now. I'm going to share something with you. Right now, you're living paycheck to paycheck and you're sick of it. You're tired of this two steps forward, three steps back kind of routine. 
you're feeling unsure of your family's financial future and you're struggling to actually take the action that you know you need to take to be successful. You might be hustling way too hard and you're ending up feeling burnt out and exhausted. Or you're feeling like you just can't see the light at the end of the tunnel and there's too much month at the end of the money. But you are committed to unfucking your finances. You are ready to rewrite your money story. You are curious to see what actually separates the mindsets of the poor people and the rich people. And you know that you're excited to learn how to attract money with ease and flow and alignment. You're ready to take your manifesting, manifesting journey and your money mindset to the next level and start living the life you've always dreamed of. Does that sound like you? Is that you? If you're nodding right now, if you're feeling like, yes, this is exactly what I know I need to do, then we need to work together. I'm sure you can guess, but the, the number one block that the mums that I work with in my business coaching, especially, I kept coming up with again and again and again, coming up against this in our conversations. It was money. Every freaking time. Money is where I see so many mums get stuck. That's why I created Money for Mummy. They know they want more of it. They know deep down that spark inside them is calling them to a life of more abundance. But for some crazy reason, they keep going further and further into debt, overspending, then restrictive saving, then binging on shit they don't need from Kmart. It is a vicious cycle. But why is this? I mean, seriously, why do we seem to be so stubborn and stuck in our ways around money? Why do we continue with the limited, there's not enough thinking around money? Aren't you tired of putting a subconscious limit on how much money you can have? You and I both know this is a huge problem and I know something needs to be done about before the next generation, our, our kids, your kids, my kids, they grow up and they get their credit cards. Oh, I could not think of anything more scary. That's why you and I, we are going on this journey together. I've invested thousands of hours and dollars into learning about this, perfecting, trying, testing, rinse and repeating all of these methods. So you could totally go and spend thousands and tackle it by yourself if you want to. I mean, ill. Or you could join Money for Mummy, get it totally simplified for way, way less. And I'll give you everything. I'm not holding anything back. No secrets. I am laying it all out for you. And I know that if you do the work, you will see the results beyond your wildest dreams. Like, I mean, seriously, wild. So what you're going to get, recapping over there, it is almost $6,000 worth of value. Sorry, I got a cough. <coughs> I get so passionate and I talk so enthusiastically, I lose my voice. <laughs> but nearly $6,000 worth of value, that's what I'm giving you. So before we go into the next section, I want you guys to meet Kirsty. Kirsty is beautiful. She's just the most incredible person. She's a busy working mum and she's a wife, but she found herself reading a million different finance and law of attraction books. Like she's read all the books, right? She's done all the books. She's listening to the podcast, but she was still financially stuck. But she joined my program. She joined Money for Mummy. She was actually one of the first people to sign up. And she uses what she learned from the course in her everyday life, not only to set healthy boundaries, but also to attract abundance. And this is an exciting bit. In six weeks of being part of Money for Mummy, Kirsty manifested an extra $14,000. Okay. This is her status here. I've posted it down there because it just blew me away. I was like actually getting heart pal palpitations reading. I was so excited. She said, holy crap, I just manifested a 14-week booking at our b, b early next year. For you guys, like b, b it is rare to book out like people for two nights in a row. That's super rare for people to pay up front and book 14 weeks 
14 weeks straight. That is virtually unheard of. And she purely manifested this. She absolutely manifested this through changing her beliefs and habits. Uh, she said, holy crap, I just manifested a 14-week booking at our B&B early next year. $900 a week for 14 weeks. I'm freaking stoked. So she was actually manifested over $14,000 just with that alone in six weeks. I think when we actually caught up recently and added it up, it was actually closer to 20K that she manifested over the six weeks. But $14,000 specifically with that one booking um, for her and her husband's B&B, which is so exciting. $14,000. All right. So she manifested $14,000. We spoke before about Sarah who manifested about $7,000 as part of money for mommy you know, in six weeks, guys, what can an extra $14,000 do for you in six weeks? Of course, all of these results are not typical, but they are possible. So to celebrate the incredible Kirsty and um, Sarah's stories, I want to give you another bonus. Bonus number one that I want to add in for you guys is my abundance meditation packs. These are three abundance meditations for you and it's normally valued at 197. This bonus is for the first, first, for the, three for three, for the first 30 people only who join the program. You're going to get my three abundance meditations. They're game changers, guys. Okay, they are so relaxing absolutely so relaxing so meditating as we know is great for mums in general to help us focus and stay present with our kids and with our life and de-stress but what we're going to do is add in the level of abundance training to that as well so let's add in the abundance meditation pack the bonus it's worth 197 dollars. so we are now total value is six thousand one hundred and ninety four dollars is what you're going to get. Now, I just want to remind you guys, Sarah manifested $7,000 doing the program within the six weeks. Kirsty manifested $14,000 in the first six weeks doing the program. So it's safe to say they definitely made their money back, right guys? So if all this six week program did was give you a budget that actually works, would it be worth it? If I gave you a budget or a calculator that you could use for the rest of your life that 100% works and takes you two seconds, would it be worth it? Uh, yeah. If all this six-week program did was stop you feeling so constantly overwhelmed and guilty about money, would it be worth it? Yes. If you could get rid of money guilt forever, do you think this program would be worth it? Yes. If you never had to panic when you look in the letterbox for one of those little brown envelope bills again, would it be worth it? Hell yeah. If all this six week program did was made you a happier and calmer mum because you didn't have to stress about finance anymore, would it be worth it? Yes. A resounding yes. What are you guys saying in the comments? Would it be worth it? Yes. Hell yeah. Yes. Yes. Fuck yes. Yes. Of course. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Like we know this is absolutely worth it. Oh, oh, Brianna's already logged on and she's bought, she's joined human as fuck school. Congratulations. Uh, not human as sorry. Wrong program. Money for mummy. Congratulations, Brianna. Welcome to money for mummy. I'm so stoked to meet you. I can't wait to welcome you to the Facebook group. That's so exciting. Congratulations guys. Let's give a a little virtual love hug sent out to Brianna. I'm so proud of you, babe. It's taken a huge step towards you and your family's financial security and future. So what's it worth to you? Brianna obviously thinks it's worth, so she's already registered. Amazing. Love you. What's it worth to you? What is your happiness worth to you? Is it worth six weeks of effort? In the grand scheme of your 80 year long, healthy, amazing life, is six weeks of effort worth it? Yes. Comments are going off. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, exactly. What's it worth to you? 5K? 10K? 25K? More? What would you pay? How much would you invest to unfuck your finances and create more wealth and abundance in your life? If I said, you know, we could make you, you know, you could retire with a million dollars and you could be so financially abundant and secure and you could never have to worry about money again for the rest of your life. What's it actually worth to you? How much would you pay? 
yeah, uh, yeah. I got a couple of people saying like 10K, 25K, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, Lee is like, I've already paid thousands of dollars with accountants. So, yeah, it's obviously, yeah, it's important. Have the accountants helped you that much, Leah, for paying thousands of them? Um, I'll check to answer in a minute. Break the cycle of lack for your kids. Give the gift of abundance to your family. So you can see, after hanging out with me for a little while on this workshop, why other people, my one-on-one -on -one clients, are paying me $25,000 to help them with this. You can see why others are paying me 25K. Like I, I know this shit back to front. Like the back of my hand, I am confident, I'm proud and I get fucking results, right? You've seen the results. But chances are right now, you've got some resistance coming up. There's some questions or your mean girl might be telling you, you're not enough. You're not smart enough. You don't have enough time, blah, 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 to do this right now. I want you to tell your inner mean girl to just fuck right off because you do deserve this. And because you do, I'm giving you bonus number two. This is the badass budget calculator. So this is what will calculate your entire budget. It is completely idiot proof. My four-year-old daughter can use it. It's so simple. It does everything for you. You never have to do a formula. You don't have to, you know, you literally have to type in one number and it does everything for you. That bonus is worth $197. And I'm pretty sure that bonus alone is actually, you know, even if you just got that and nothing else, your life would be vastly different moving forwards. If you had access to this badass budget calculator just by itself, you would make a huge difference in your life. So that's the second bonus. So I'm adding that in there as well for you guys. And the total value is now $6,391. Boom. Mic drop. Amazing. That's how much value you're getting. Notice how I'm saying value. I want you to understand how much value you're getting before I tell you how much I'm actually going to charge you for it. Okay. So you can see why it's a good deal at 6,391. Like that's a fucking bargain. Like Kirsty got that much value and she got 14K out of it, $14,000. So it's a deal at 6,391. It's 1,997 for the general public. But because you've been hanging out with me for over an hour, because you are special, because I know from this chat, you want this. You absolutely want this. You are the right person. You're the type of person I want to work with because you are an action taker. You can get started now for just $997 today. Like Brianna just did. She just went online and she ordered her money for mummy. She paid $997. And she's, she can get straight off this call and go and watch the week one video and get started straight away. Or because I understand that I never want you to be in fear of debt, that trying to create an abundance mindset, if you have to go further into debt to create abundance mindset, it's counterproductive, it's counterintuitive and it doesn't work. You also have the option to pay in full or to pay over three months. I know. Oh my God. Yeah, okay. <laughs> comments kelly's like oh, i'm so excited for the payment plan yay yay oh uh, canvas is like i thought i was counted out i couldn't i didn't think i could do this i'm so glad there's a payment plan going to click now and get started yes canvas come back into the chat and let me know when you get started so for just 997 dollars today you can get started you can pay in full or you can pay over three months as well i think it's like seven dollars more to pay over three months um so you can do that as well. If you want to split it up, if you want to make it a little bit more achievable and affordable. So you have two choices. I've laid it out. I've given you the three money secrets. I've given you some tools and resources to get started with on this money journey. And I know I've added a lot of value because the 300 something people wouldn't still be on this call right now if I hadn't have, like totally nailed this workshop. You have two choices. And just so you know, I'm fine with either one. It's up to you now. So your first option is do nothing. Don't take this leap of faith. Sit back, shut the computer, turn your phone off, go to bed, wake up and repeat the same year over and over again for the next 80 years. It's 100% risk-free. You don't risk anything, nothing changes. The second option, 
is put on your big girl panties, pony up this small investment today. Like literally I'm giving you over $6,000 worth of value and you can get it for a grant, 997. Plus you can even do the payment plan. Hello. I like, it cannot possibly be any easier compared to all the value you'll get in return and just give it a shot. Is it worth gambling a few minutes of your time to check this out? This could be the thing that changes your entire future. You don't want to be looking back in a few years and regretting not doing this. Just check it out. If it's done even half of what I've claimed today on this webinar, it will pay for itself. So stop delaying your happiness. Other opportunities can leave you feeling super inspired and amazing but without actual results. With this, you get the accountability of having the group coaching sessions with me, access to me every week so I can keep you accountable and so you can ask me for anything extra that you need. So that's the real question, isn't it? So there's some the testimonials again. I've added in Kirsty's with manifesting a $14,000 um, booking. And then I've also got here... Uh, I can't remember who wrote this actually because I think I blacked out her name. But, oh yes, I've learned so much. You've literally changed my life by making me see what I'm doing wrong and also that it's not all my fault. I'm working on my money story every day now and really am feeling a difference in my life already. You're amazing. This was after day three, by the way, um, that she sent me that message. So that's just some more client love I need. I have a bunch more I need to add in. I'm so, I'm so slack, guys, with updating this. But here's what's happened next, Okay is exactly what you do next. And Brianna's already done it and I can see Candace now. Candace, welcome to Money for Mummy. I'm so excited to hang out with you too. Candace has joined up on the payment plan, amazing. Here's exactly what happens next. Register online, clicking the link, um, or you know, there's a button, there should be a button below which you can click and register online. Check your email, including the junk folder for an email from me and check out the Money for Mummy portal. The link for the portal in the Facebook group will be in the email. And save that email. Make sure you save that email because that's how you get on to the Money for Mummy program. Check out the portal. Check out week one if you want to. And join our Sexy Selfish Elite Facebook portal. This is important, guys. Introduce yourself. Yes, selfies are mandatory as well. This is the place where you can post as many selfies as you want. We love a good selfie. This is not a place where you're going to be judged for showing off your new bangs, right? And then... Get ready to manifest some serious dollars. Every time I say dollars, I think of the movie Chuck and Larry Get Hitched or Chuck and Larry Get Married with Adam Sandler. And what's his name? Uh, Bruce Gigolo guy. He's dressed up in, in, as like um, an Asian priest and he says doll hairs instead of dollars. Oh, doll hairs. And every time I say dollars, I think of doll hairs and it's the most inconvenient thing. I really wish my husband didn't have an addiction to Adam Sandler movies because I pick up all these stupid words and context which no one else in the world understands. Anyway, what you're going to get. There we go again. Six training modules, six 30-minute Q&A sessions, six transformational workbooks and homework, access to the private Facebook group, Boss Mama Mindset Portal, Abundance Meditation Pack, and Badass Budget Calculators. Over $6,000 worth of value. And you get it for $997. Or you can do it on the payment plan and you just pay $84 today. Just $84 and you can get started today. I, I, I cannot make this any easier for you guys. I really can't. Like if you still say no to this and I've made it this easy, that's totally on you. That's okay. But you need to acknowledge that you're staying stuck where you are by your own choice. So if, if there's some resistance coming up right now, um, I just let actually like you can see there, like these are some of the reasons, but I want to ask the questions. I want to answer you guys questions. What are you actually feeling? Like what is your mean girl saying to you right now? Um, all right, let's have a look. Okay. All right. So Lauren is asking, I'm just not sure what will I get out of it? All right. Lauren, you're going to have your world rocked, of course. But this is like asking if I can guarantee you'll do the work. <laughs> look, like, look, babe, I'm not here to hold your hand and remind you why you sign up for the course. I'm not here to like push you to finish if you lose focus. I'm not here to be there on a daily basis to be like, you need to do this, you need to do that. Like, I'm not your mum, okay? 
I'm here to guide you. I'm here to lead you and encourage you to step outside your comfort zone on the daily because you are worthy of a better life. And I'll do it with tough love if I have to, because I want you to get the results you so deeply desire. But I obviously cannot and I will not guarantee results because there's so many of the factors are up to you. Okay, so when you ask, like, I'm not sure what I'll get out of it, I can teach you everything. But as for what you get out of it, it's up to you. If you put in 100% effort, you can get back 100% effort. But if you put in 20%, expect to get 20% back, right? Simple. Does that make sense, Lauren? Yes. Awesome. Was it Lauren? Laura, sorry. Um, yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. All right. Someone else has asked, what about refunds if it's not for me? Okay. So if you don't like the course, do you offer refunds? Due to the nature of this course, there are absolutely no refunds. I... 100% believe in this process and I'm extremely confident in its effectiveness, not only for me, but for my clients. I know this shit works. If you do the work, if you get over your own excuses and you apply everything that you learned, you will a hundred percent see results. Um, all right, let's have a look at some more questions. Scrolling down, scrolling down. Ada. Ada is worried she won't have time to complete the course. Fair enough. Like you're busy. What is it? Three kids work. Full, yeah. Yeah. Like you've got three kids. You're working full time. I get it. You're worried you won't have time to complete the course. Um, no worries. The course is all pre-recorded, and you have access to all the modules for the rest of your life. So you can join today, but you can officially start the program months for now if that's what you decide. But by enrolling now, you lock in the program at its current lowest price. And at the end of the day, it's an hour a week to do the program. So if you have time to watch The Bachelor, you have time to do this program. Uh, one of the beautiful mums who did my program, she is a mum of four and she's got young premature twin boys. So they have a lot of health complications. And she actually did the program, the full program, listening to the recordings, driving back and forth. She would live an hour away from the hospital. Um, and she would listen to all the recordings and all the bonus modules, driving to the hospital with her two young twin boys, right? She'd do the school run with her other two kids and then drive her twin. Like, if this is important to you, you will make time for it. It's not a fact of not having time. You make time. I'm sounding like a bit of a hard ass here, but um, all right. Uh, let Tracy is asking, she doesn't have a business. She's just a stay at home mom. Is money the money for right course for me? Oh yeah, of course. Absolutely. Money for mommy was designed with you in mind, no matter where or how you currently earn or don't earn money. It's for everyone. Cause these principles are principles for life, no matter what situation you are in. And it's something also that should be able to be passed down generationally. Um, all right, so I think that's all the questions I can see at the moment. But if you have more questions about the course, you can feel free to shoot my team an email to laura at sexyselfish.com and she'll be more than happy to make sure that mummy, money for mummy is the right fit for you. Very exciting. Very exciting. Okay. So before we finish up, I just want to make sure that you know I'm nothing special. I'm actually not good at investing in stocks. I'm not the type of mum that closes multi-million dollar property deals while I'm out to brunch after going to Pilates. That's not me. I don't even remember the school swimming permission lip slips. I literally, I don't. The amount of times the school has called me and been like, uh, they have an excursion today and we still don't have Eric's permission to slip. And I'm like, shit, I will come in and sign it so we can go to the swimming lessons every time. Every year I forget that. So I'm nothing special, but I can still help share the message that you can get rid of money guilt for good. I can do that and I will continue to do that. I can still empower mums to unfuck their finances and I can and I will show you how to create your dream life. So recapping again, total value, 6,391. That is how much value you are going. Ah, Kelly, check in the comments here. Kelly has joined Money for Mummy. Hi, Kelly, welcome. You're joining Brianna and Candace who have jumped on. I'm so excited to meet you and get to know you now. Fantastic. Kelly, let me know, did you sign up um, in full or did you use the payment plan option? That's very exciting. Welcome to the team. 
Oh, you did it in full. Congratulations. That's really, really exciting. I'm so proud of you investing into your future like this. It's very exciting. Total value is 6,391. For just today, 997, or you can pay in full or pay over three months. Get on it, guys. Click the button. I want you to be a part of this. You want to be a part of this. You know, you know, I'm saying this shit and you're nodding along like, yes, I need to do this. <laughs> All right. Before we finish up, let's draw the winner of the mug. You'll be able to pick which mug you want to do. Um, I'm just checking the text of my sister now. She's got everyone's names in the hat. All right. Text from Laura, my beautiful assistant. And Danny L. Montgomery. Congratulations, Danielle Montgomery. Could you please? She's on? Is she? Yes. Yes, she's on. Yay, you won. Congratulations, hon. You can pick um, one of the mugs and I want you to email. I'm going to pop the email um, address for Laura in the comment section right now. Laura at sexyselfish.com. Email her your postal address and she is going to post you out one of these beautiful mugs. Thank you so much, Danielle, for hanging out with me on tonight's webinar. Um, I hope you are going to join Money for Mummy as well. Yes, yes. You're, you, oh, you're transferring funds. <laughs> I know what that's like. You're trying to transfer funds and get them to clear so you can buy just something from the right account. I totally, I totally get that. Okay, let's check the chat again. Leah's in. Welcome to Money for Mummy. Leah. So joining Candice, Brianna, and Kelly. Welcome. All right, who else have we got in? Alex. Welcome. Welcome, Helen. Welcome to Money for Mummy. I can't wait. So you guys, you guys that are joined, please head check that email and head straight over to the Facebook group so that you can um, introduce yourself, share a selfie, and we can get straight in to the awesome training that I have prepared for you guys. That's the best bit. As soon as you purchase, you can jump straight onto the portal. You can start watching the bonus material. You can do one of the meditations. You can join week one, whatever you are ready to do. So guys, that is me. I'm over and out. I can hear my kids knocking at my bedroom door. They're probably hungry. They're always bloody hungry. Um, <laughs> so thank you so, so much for coming to hang out with me tonight on our training, three money secrets that all mums need to know. I know you've gotten so much value. I know I've gotten so much value and I can't wait to expand and go further into these exciting topics and give you more information in the Money for Mummy program. Six weeks, come hang out with me. It's going to be epic fucking life changing. Stop delaying your happiness and I will see you real soon. Bye.